Hi, it's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. I know y'all are busy, so yes, I really appreciate you guys clicking on, on my video. Today for you, I have my first completed Diamond Art Club painting. And it is Mermaid Princess. There's a thumbnail. And it's completed, but not completed. And so yesterday I placed the last drill. I still need my son to kind of look at it because he, he will find that sometimes like if I have one missing down here that I didn't notice. So I haven't had him look at it yet, but I placed the last drills last night while my husband was watching a football game. And I was diamond painting in the living room because that's where I diamond paint. I have, um, Excuse me, I'm still getting over a cold that I got at, um, on Christmas Day. I came down sick. But uh, yeah, so he was watching a football game. I diamond paint in the living room. I have one of those picnic tables that I put up when I diamond paint. So it's really nice that I have something that's a little bit larger than those folding tables that I, I use as well. It just depends on what's going on in the living room. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I didn't know if I really wanted to make this video today because my throat is kind of, it doesn't hurt, thank the Lord, but it's like kind of um, just irritated a little bit. So, and then I, you know, I just have all that stuffy nose and everything. So, um, but I wanted to share this because I do want to kit down. I want to, you know, put away all the diamonds. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these extra diamonds. Oh, I was... Sorry, I'm always all over the place because my mind goes off to starts thinking about when I talk that I want it to start getting down, then it goes on to the drills before I'm even done with the canvas. But what I wanted to say that if you notice, there are drills missing, and that's because I'm still waiting on Diamond Art Club to send those drills. I ran out. I didn't spill them or anything like that, which is um, why I'm surprised they're not here yet. I can understand them being late if they're... You know, it's my fault and they're busy because I'm sure right now they're still with all all their sales trying to get orders out. But so, yeah, so her forehead looks kind of funny because she doesn't have that there. And then she's missing some right there. But I am just calling it done because I if those were if I would have had all those, it would be completed. So now I'm just waiting. I'm going to actually put this away today. And then when those come out when they come um, I'll I'll add those on I'm just hoping that the glue is still sticky because I had that plastic on here yeah she looks funny like that because <laughs> I had the plastic on but you know it doesn't stick because those are such small areas so I don't I'm hoping that they'll still be sticky but isn't she pretty look at all these um it's so glittery and pretty so with this kit though, I enjoyed doing the kit, but there were two colors. There was a lot of static in, let me see. There was a lot of static in this one right here, 814. Look at all that black I used. It was This was all the way up here. And then this one, this one has static too, but it's not as bad. This was really weird. I had a few, um, sorry, huh, my nose was itching. <laughs> I had a few that were, um, so this is the trash. It's, I don't know if that's a lot of trash because it's also, let me take my eyes off the camera so I could look and find the other one. This is also trash. This color was so strange. Let me show you. And this is just a little bit of it. I'm going to let Diamond Art Club know what um, about this. So. But look at these. These drills. I don't know if you can see this. But they are round. Because two, you know that the drills are stuck together. And making them round. And they won't. They're like really stuck. And all of these, and there's a, this is just a little bit of, of them. So I don't know if you can tell by looking. Let me, let me get one of my pens. 
Let's see. Let me pick one up. I have to do this off camera though. Let's see if I could get one with this pen. Let's see. It's like, let's see if I could focus that. <clears throat> So I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's, yeah, they're kind of like round. Let's get another one. And they don't come apart for nothing. Let's see, here's another one. Oh, this will that focus right there. See how it's not flat? So... Yeah, so there were a lot of those, making it hard when you're trying to, you know, get them all situated in here to use. And then this was, some of this is um, trash, and then others were, there were colors, you know, like if you have a red and there's some yellows in there or other colors that don't belong. So that's all of this. So I don't know if this is a lot or not. I mean, this is my first diamond painting. Uh, I bought this canvas. I think I bought this one. I need to write, start writing this down in my little journal, but I have it written somewhere. But this I bought either at the end of September or the beginning of October. I bought it the day it came out. So, but yeah, so this, see how there are other ones? Let me get that pen like right here, these two are stuck like that too, like right there. A lot of these were um, stuck as well. So I don't know, that was really strange. It was very frustrating for me as my first, just a second. <clears throat> Excuse me, as my first, um, you know, canvas, but all in all, I really liked it. So, and I used a lot of these um, Nix's Notion trays. And when I first got these trays, um, I am a messy diamond painter. So diamond, you know, when I was putting them in here, they were just flying all over the place. I don't understand why, because now they just slide in. Maybe I was hitting them too hard. I think I was, I was like maybe hitting them too hard um, because at first I was like, oh no, I'm not going to like, I'm not going to like this, these trays. But I was doing that with the Bella Art trays as well. So I think it takes practice. So if you're new to diamond painting and you're trying to put your drills away and they're flying all over the place, please excuse me. I'm so sorry. It's no fun having a cold, especially when I'm trying to, trying to record a video. I don't like to be sniffling in your ear, so I'm so sorry. So yeah, so if you're new to diamond painting and your diamonds are going all over the place, it's, you know, sometimes for us messy diamond painters or heavy handed, I guess, and it takes just some practice because now I don't have them flying all over the place. So I'm actually going to, my son and I are going to diamond paint on New Year's Eve into the new year. So I think I'm going to give him some tray lessons. So with this painting... <clears throat> I think I'm going to save the ABs, but I will. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other ones just yet. I might just go ahead and put them in the baggies that they came in and peel these off and put them on the bag until I could figure out what I'm going to do with this. But I do want to kit this down today. Today is the 30th. It is Friday uh, because I want to uh, start kit up another one, which I will talk about in another video. So... Let's see, so I used the Nix's Notion with this, and I love these trays, because look at this, they're so big that you can even fit all your pens in here. This is a Poshy pen. I don't have one at the end right now, but this is my first Poshy pen, and it's um, just beautiful. So, yeah, so it holds all these, all your tools in here, and I used release paper, not to section off, but just to put, so when I'm diamond painting, sometimes my hand would keep sticking to the canvas. And I have this fear that I'm gonna take all the stickiness away. So I bought these release papers. I do still, I know I mentioned this before in another video, I still wanna get some of the cute ones. I'm going to, I just haven't yet. So, but right now I have these. And so I use the release paper. And it's so pretty. And I love my Bella 
oh no, I got to sneeze. My Bella Art cup reminders is where I put a lot of my trash. And then I used various other cup reminders. I didn't bring them in here, but this was the one that stayed constant and it probably will in my next one. And then I added some other cup reminders that I have. I don't have a whole lot. I have a lot of the ones that you get in the kits. And then I recently did a few unboxings of some of the other ones. So now I have these, those very pretty ones from, I think it's Chabon. So I used uh, the poinsettia one, which was gorgeous. And I used the boba one that I got from Mary, Mary. It's a Mary Minder, but it's Mary Crafts. Oh, I'm so, I'm so bad at remembering all this. I got to start writing all that down in my journal as well. But anyway, so this was my main cover minder and I love this. And then I got a chance to use this and I can open it now, although it, it yeah, I like that. Um, and I like this. The only thing I, I, the only negative I have with this, and maybe it's just because I'm not used to it. I just got this last week and I started using it is I kind of like the opening over here in the middle. Um, cause you know, I'm a messy diamond painter, heavy handed. And I think I just need to get used to it, it coming this way. I don't know how to explain it, but it does make a difference for me. So, but I will keep you guys updated and <clears throat> I'll keep you guys updated on that. So anyway, so I do, I do love Nix's Notion. This one's the Beast, if you want this one. And this is Tall Boy. These are their small ones for like a lot of confetti. This is my first one I got, and I think I will be getting more. So, yes, yeah, so let me see if I missed anything. So I have this uh, journal that I got. I just got this at Half Price Books for like maybe six dollars or something like that and what I'm going to start doing so excuse my messy handwriting or just writing in general I guess I should have said this information at the beginning but this is my first post review and I'm always my brain is so scattered all the time and um, so I'm always all over the place so hopefully that doesn't bother you all too much like I didn't even give you the size of this canvas so this is mermaid princess and it is 26 by 26 inches 50.7 by 65.8 centimeters this is a diamond art club and i am i haven't filled out the exit forms yet but i do need to for um these are i got some hashtag or events and one is diamonds and disney 20 2022 and winter with Di diamond painting dp 20 22 and I put these little squares here so I know that I haven't done that I need to get that done hopefully I'm not too late because it's already the 30th and I do still need to share this on social media that I completed it uh, haven't done that and then what I did I just let I just wrote a few notes here in my ugly handwriting um, that I ran out of drills and I emailed them on the 17th and I haven't got they emailed me back saying they're going to send them but they haven't yet and I had lots of static. Oh, I had a lot of static in like two or three colors. I used, I finally found my dryer sheet. So I did use them because at first the static was just all over. I mean, all the walls were full of the, with the static on these ones. So as you can see now, they're, they're not. But what I did was I didn't put just a small little square of the a dryer sheet in here I cut off like a good size and I put it in here and I shook it all over and yes it was a little bit harder to get the dryer sheet out because it was a good size <clears throat> excuse me but it worked um, the little squares that I was putting in uh, like this size so this is the size that I was putting in there like this this is actually a little bit bigger but I cut a piece off of this but I was actually, so it was a little bit bigger than this and I was putting this in the ones that had a lot of static and it worked. So, cause at first I was just putting um, like a little square, like a fourth of this and that didn't work for me. Oh God, I gotta sneeze again, you guys. I'm so sorry. I feel like a sneeze is coming on. Okay. So, so those were the only two things. And then, so what I did, is I, I bought one of these date stamps. As you can see, I don't know how to use it very well. 
on the 21st. I started this on the 6th and then I finished it on the 29th. But I thought I got a date stamp, so every time I, I work on it, I can at least stamp it in my notebook that with the days I worked on it. This is a DP with sparklers uh, sticker. Isn't that so pretty? I should have put it on the canvas that I'm going to do the her the event um, blinging in the new year, but I didn't think about it until after I laid it down. <laughs> I didn't have anything, any mermaidish stickers. Okay, see how my mind just goes goes. <laughs> So then I got these. I thought this would be a great, because I was doing so bad. I mean, with all the gapping and upside down and everything. I said, you know, I think I'm going to get me some library cards. And then I'm going to, so I got the library cards. I think on yesterday they came in. So, um, so I only stamped that one once. And then there's enough room on the back. So, and if you run out, you can just get another library card or maybe start stamping on here. Like, let me see. Yeah, I think that's the only one, actually, because I haven't been working. So I've been putting them in here. I'm going to start having my, and just stamp on the day that I stamp the date. And I thought if I remember, because I probably won't remember most of the time, I will put the time or something like that on this side. Because it's the date due and then the borrower's name. But I'm just putting the dates. And then um, I was thinking of putting the time or how long I worked on it that day on this side. But... Again, I'm not sure if I can if I'll remember to actually do all that. So, and that is my first Diamond Art Club kit that I completed. I'm really excited about that, and I can't wait to start the next one. I have every time I look at my diamond paintings, I just want to start them all. So, I am going to kit up another one. I know I have like all these whips. These are the whips that I have. So. <clears throat> So I have this one still that I started in November. I have this one that I started in November. I have this one that I haven't started yet. And this one, I just started a tiny, tiny little corner just to try a little bit for, before my son and I do this one, but I haven't really started it, so I haven't put the date on there yet. Then I did this one, my first completion. Yay, I'm so excited. And then, I have this one that I um, haven't worked on since December 21st. And then, yeah, then I'll put the next one in here. So, yeah, those are my whips. And then, um, yeah. So, anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, let me know what whip you have finished or what diamond painting you have finished. And, um... What are some of the, how do you store them? Do you use the Elizabeth Ward? I love this. I also have one of the, like the suitcase types that I like, and I'm using that one with one of my diamond paintings. I'm using that one with um, the bird one I have. Like, I think it's a bluebird, this bluebird one. And I'll write that down, which kit, I'm, I mean, which, um, <clears throat> excuse me, which storage container I'm using on that one. But yeah, so let me know if you've used Nix's Notion. I love her trays. I still would like to get a few more. I think I might get one more of these because I really do like using these with my tools. So I end up just having one. I love the size, the, the height of the wall because I am kind of a messy diamond painter. And um, the only thing is like, I don't know, these just, the, these fall off really easy um which is not a, a huge problem but sometimes when i'm picking them up and putting them away i'll you know that'll fly off but it hasn't been like a huge problem or anything so yeah so anyway thank you so much for watching i'm trying to just think really quick if there's anything else i wanted to say so basically should i give it like a rating um like a zero, I mean, one to 10 rating. I don't know. I would think it's like a 7.5. Uh, cause I really enjoyed it. I, I, I really liked it. Um, the only thing is just the static, those drills that were just all stuck together. I know Bella Art, Dylan, Nicole, if I'm saying that correctly, sells one of those little grinder thingies, but I don't have one right now. And 
uh, I probably will get one in the future, but just I just don't have one right now. And some of those were just, they were just like a ball. I mean, just those two just really stuck. So the static, those weird drills, and I ran out of drills for one color. So those are the only, otherwise it would be higher. Um, and then sometimes the drills on some on parts of the canvas would kind of slide around and I would have a hard time, excuse me, I would have a hard time letting the drill, the drill would, you know, would stick to the pen and not release on the canvas. And this is the one that I ran out of, it's H. So yeah, so there are a few things. But overall, I really like it. I love how it looks when I hold it up. I just want to hang it up somewhere now. But I don't know. I don't have any space to hang a diamond painting up or how I would do it. I think what I'm going to do, I am on one of my diamond... I, I completed a diamond painting that a company sent me. I'll get it really quick. And this one... <clears throat> Oops, I think I just heard a few. Oh, I just popped off some drills. I guess you shouldn't put a rubber band on your diamond painting. That's really bad. Look what I did. I just popped off drills there. But anyway, what I think I'm going to do is with this one, because this is a, a budget one, I think I'm going to practice painting on the sides black and then see how I like that. And But I'm going to practice on this one and maybe another one. I'd, Another one that I, I don't have another completed one other than that Olaf one, so it wouldn't be that one. But anyway, I'm going to practice on uh, a few. Once I finish another diamond painting that that I don't care too much if something happens, like one that I know I'm not going to hang up, in other words. So I'm going to practice before I start doing that on a diamond painting that I actually want to hang up. Oh, I'm so goofy. Look at my poor diamond painting. Lost some drills but this one was this one's a budget one i don't know today's savings i got they sent it to me and um i'm surprised i don't know the drills you know they're doing good okay but that's that, that's a whole nother video <laughs> so anyway thank you so much for watching y'all have a great day and remember to live a life filled with color because it's so much prettier that way and i'll see y'all in my next video bye